Kudra, the final boss snap update is nothing more than a depressed magma cube. So how much does killing the sad magma cube actually make you per hour? Well, I decided to murder Kudras for 10 hours, and I'm gonna be telling you what loot I end up getting from the mass genocide of these monsters. And if you like money just as I do, there's hope for you. Just comment your best joke in the comments, and the best one will receive 10 million coins if this video reaches 500 likes. However, if you aren't a gold digger and want friends instead, well, too fucking bad. You're a skyblock player. What do you expect? You'll just, have, you'll just have to settle with making friends with the subscribe button. When doing Kudra, there is two chests. These chests can contain a variety of things, from armor sets, to god tier books, to absolute shit. In addition to dropping all that, you can also get attribute shards, which range from absolute dog shit enchants that no one would ever use, to insanely good enchants that would boost your damage threefold, or make you get ridiculous amounts of mana. There's also an incredibly small chance you can get an iron axe called the Enrager. And by incredibly small, I mean 1 in 400,000. Or that's still a higher odds of you ever touching grass, getting friends, or finding a girlfriend. So you know what? You might as well go for the iron axe. In order to get into a Kudu run, you have to pay 100 to 200,000 coins to get into hot or basic tier of Kudra. You also need Kudra keys in order to get the boss. There's two ways to get them. You can either uh, mass genocide wither babies and then sell the wither babies for keys, or you can mass kill mini bosses and pray that they dropped a key out of their burning corpse. Either way, Kuja keys were essential for doing this. Now, when doing hot tier and basic tier, there is almost the exact same loot, except hot tier has a higher chance for the better attribute shards and the more wanted items such as molten gear or the holy grail, the inferno book. However, it's also a lot more difficult and requires you to shoot white things. And no, these are not kids, and no, they are not in a school, so you can go away now. Now, in order to shoot these gas, there's a bunch of things you can do. However, most people use tarantula boots and either a juju, venom's touch, or terminator. All of these work, and I highly recommend using this gear if you are going to be doing Kudra hot tier. Otherwise, they're all going to yell at you, and you're going to end up getting kicked, and no one likes that. Now for these runs, I'm being, going to be using 3 4th Storm with Wither Goggles, an Iron Staff, a Blaze Rod, and a Necromancer Sword because hey hey, bug goes burr. If you know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, Mana Vamp not really working, and me taking a lot of damage, and then beginning full HP with a single click, so hey hey, bug broken. Also, I'm giving away most of the money I get on my Discord server with events every single week, so go and join that link in the description. And now let's get into the footage of me sitting on a cannon and shooting a wither upside down for 10 hours straight. I think you'll love it. And go, could you dead? And molten bracelet. Easy. Easy molten bracelet. Hey, molten cloak, easy. Uh. Bruh, <laughs> molten bracelet again. Yo, I'm getting so lucky with this. I've got the Molten Bracer like back to back to back. Bro, back to back to back! <laughs> Lamau, bro. <laughs> Three times in a row. Bro, dead ass. I'm getting so lucky with this. GG's. Inferno Book. Hey, Molten Necklace again. Bro, I've been getting so much Molten Gear. Actually crazy. Yo, bro, no way, I just got- Oh my god, that's crazy. Uncommon creature pet? Bro, that's like a 1 in 200 odd or something. Yo, that's insane. Does it just add it to the pet pets menu? I think it does, right? What are the stats on it? Does it, like, give any new buffs or anything? I mean, hey, you know what? That buffs all stats? I'm perfectly happy with getting that drop, you know? Hey, that's solid. As you saw, I got a bunch of loot, including the uncommon Kudra pet. So how much loot did I actually get, and how much money did I actually make from these 10 hours of Kudra runs? Let's go over it. Starting out with enchant books, we got 27 pieces of strong mana tier 1, and 3 pieces of strong mana tier 2. For mana vamp, we got 35 pieces of tier 1, and 4 pieces of tier 2. For hardened mana, we have 37 pieces, and 5 pieces of hardened mana tier 2. For Ferocious Mana, we have 28 pieces of Tier 1 and 3 pieces of Tier 2. And in total from all these enchant books, we have 127 total enchant books from these runs. Now onto Armor, 
We have seven pieces of terror, which include two chest plates, two leggings, and three pieces of boots. For crimson, we have three pieces in total, two of them being a chest plate and one of them being leggings. And now onto the pieces of molten gear. We are able to obtain two molten belts from these runs. We are also able to get six molten bracelets, three pieces of molten cloak, and four molten necklaces. So in total, we got 15 pieces of molten gear. Now on to attribute shards. In total, we got 173 pieces of attribute shards. And instead of breaking these individually, I'm going to break them up by cost category. Starting off, we have 23 shards with 1 million coins. This includes Breeze and Mana Pool. We also have 10 shards with 800,000 coins. This includes Fishing Speed and Fishing EXP. We have 37 shards with 500k. This includes Lifeline, Elite, and some other things. We have 24 shards with 350,000 coins. This includes Fisherman and Hunter. We have 7 shards with 3 million coins apiece. And then the rest of the shards aren't worth much, only worth 100k per, but we have 63 of them. Now for total money made from all of these. We made a total of 33 million coins from enchantment books. I sold these at tier 1 and crafted some of them into tier 5s. We made a total of 53.1 million, million coins from every single piece of molten gear, belts, bracelets, necklaces. We got 12.8 million coins from all the pieces of armor, terror, and crimson. From attribute shards, we were able to get 96.9 .9 million coins. And in total, we came out to around 196 million coins in profit from 10 hours of loot. This breaks up to 19.6, almost 20 million coins an hour, which is super, super good considering it's easy to do. Now, this is without getting any RNGs that I could sell on AH. I did get a Kudra pet, and if that had been any other drop, it would have raised it to 250 or 400 million coins from the 10 hours of loot. The point is, it is incredibly profitable. So now we include footage from the best moments when doing these runs. They were not included in the actual montage. These are mostly me fucking up and failing, so I hope you enjoy. I know. We're, we're shocked. Oh, I could change that. No, please don't. Oh. If I say just next time, don't remind him. Yeah, I wasn't actually going to do it until you said that. Alright, I'm back. Let's absolutely destroy this hairy ass love monster. Wait, what? Bruh. You guys saw nothing, alright? Nothing happened there. You saw nothing. Nothing. Alright. Thank god I'm about to get respawned in long enough. Uh, I need to get some tokens. Let's kill this. Let me go to the front really quick. Uh, oh my god. Bro. <laughs> How am I this bad? I'm throwing so hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you know there's no African country that starts with the letter K? Kenya. Kenya, fit both these us in your mouth? That was 100% what you're gonna say, right? Like, 100% I walked right into that. I saw that one. Why? Which one? <laughs> With the African country. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, did you actually know that or no? No, I knew it. Yo, Ram. Uh, did you know there's no African country that starts with the letter K? Really? Yeah. I mean, I if failed. you really... I failed geography, so I wouldn't know. He's homeschooled, bro. <laughs> Blue is the color of the sky. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You only get blue meth if you add too much methylene into it. What? How do you know that? Alright, that's gonna be it for today's video. Kuja was insanely profitable for me and made me a lot of money. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing. This was really fun to make, and uh, by really fun, I mean you should subscribe now. Either way, see ya. Peace. Go watch my other videos.